Tarek Maryface here, and welcome to another app review on Maryface Aviation Channel. Another free app. Obviously, we're going to go with IVFR, and there's some sort of sound on my computer, so let's get rid of that. All right, IVFR. Uh, you've got it's basically a free navigation app, uh, superimposed on Google Maps. So let's start with a new flight. Let's get rid of this one. Let's say if you, um, these are saved flights, by the way. And if you want to delete one, you're going to press the bin tab right here. If, you know, it decides to do it. Nope. Nope. Okay. Uh, the app gets cranky at times. It is a free app after all. All right. Let's see. We are here. We are going to uh, start a flight from my home airfield, which is Sancerre Le Col. And you've got it right here. Sancerre Le Col. All right, on the left you can see the navigation toolbar, um, and we're gonna fly today to LFPZ. We just need to find it, which is right here, LFPZ. You've got, uh, sorry, LFPT, sorry, which is Pontoise. Uh, as you see, the little dialog box pops up. Uh, that's a VOR, so we want to click on the airport. You're gonna click on the I button, and as you see, it's all in French, and I'm afraid to say this app only comes in French. Now few options. First, uh, add to the navigation, which is what we're going to do. And as you do that, a blue line appears, which is the navigation line. So let's click on it again, right? and let's look at the options. You've got a little star. This is a favorite star, and I've favorited it. So if you click on an airport that is not favorited, you see this thing, a green cross on top of the star. That's an adding uh, plus. So click on that, and now it's on your favorites. You can find your favorites on the top right, which I'll show you in a bit right now, actually. There you go. Your favorites are up there. Right now, back to the airport. Now, since we're doing we're navigation to Pontoise, we uh, we've never been there, or we need to check the visual approach chart. So, carte de vac, which is visual approach chart, open it up, and it opens a PDF file. You can orient it on the right way and uh, look at the different files. And this is the visual approach chart for Pontoise. It's all here. Perfect. Let's swing it back around, and as you can see. On the top right you can print it or send it an email all right so now we've done that we can check other stuff so back on the eye we can check the notum notice to airmen and as you can see you load it loads it loads it loads it loads it keeps loading and you get your notums all of them right here that's just perfect all the notums that are relevant to this airfield you can click on the top right there and you can print it, send it by email, or look or reload the page, refresh the page. And okay, so press OK. Now let's say we want obviously you know straight line flights are great, but they're very rare. So we need a waypoint. Let's use this airfield right here as a waypoint, Limero. So click on I as with that navigation. And bam, it's automatically uh, added as a waypoint in between those two. Great. So now let's say we want to fly to Pontoise first and then go back to the Miro. So what can you do? Let's look at the left hand side and you can see at the very top of the navigation box, you can see something called Modifier. Now tap on that and see there's three horizontal bars. Uh, uh, tap and hold on the Miro one and move it down to be the last in position. And there you go. And as you can see in the navigation bar, you've got the distance, cumulative distance. So for example, from from LFPZ to LFPT, you're gonna have a this total distance of seven nautical miles. Uh, sorry, to LFXU of seven nautical miles, and that totals to 24. And TSV is time of flight. That's um, how long it takes. And these are in minutes and hours. And you've got CAP, C-A-P, which is a uh, heading, a true heading. All right, and at the bottom, you've got the totals. Now, let's say we want to fly from the Miro directly to saint -Cyr. But what you can do is click on Fermina Nav, and bam, this closes up nicely. Right now, you might be wondering, how do they calculate the times? Well, that's a good question. So let's go on IVFR, and you see parameters. Now, open that up, and you see at the top, you've got the GPS no terms. You get all these options, and see, as you can see, some of the stuff is in English. Now, navigation, you said vitesse de croisière, which is um, cruise airspeed. You can tap on that and modify the airspeed. All right, let's go back. 
uh, navigation and done. Oh, my phone just rang. Okay. Uh, now let's see. Let's say we want to fly somewhere else. So let's open a new file. Click on that. Let's say we want to fly to uh, Mont Clairance. So let's add that to navigation. But now we want to add a BFR point or a, some sort of point that's not here. So let's see. Uh, we want to add, for example, a waypoint at a pond. So what we're going to do is we're going to tap and hold and add point. And you can see you can center the, the map there and you can zoom in. But we're going to want to add a point. And you see there's a new point, nouveau point. Click on the eye, add that to the navigation, click on it again, eye, and this time you can save this point. You're going to tap on that and we're going to call it uh, a pawn VFR point. All right, and then enter. Intro and bring down the view of all and enregistre to save and you saved it. There you go. And now it's part of the navigation. Uh, let's see. Let's say that now you want to check the weather. Well, unfortunately, the weather stuff doesn't really work the Metar and Tafs. Uh, not very well anyway. And you, but what you can do is check the wind temp. You can check the previous. Um, not the previous wind temp, but the true one after on the free version. So there you go, you got the wind temp. But you can't check the most recent one. You can't check the tempsy. They don't work at all. If you try them, sorry, wrong button. Uh, let's go back to there. And there you go. And the ASBA and SIP IEP also don't work as you try. They just don't like it. That's it. You can also do a this thing which is to hide BFR VORs and NAV points and these are these the green triangles are VFR points the VFR signs obviously the VOR signs obviously the VOR sign and the eight and the NDB is obviously an NDB sign okay uh, one anything else yes this this is a scratch pad which is very weird so tap that draw that like this VOR bit bizarre but hey uh, it works and it doesn't lag too much So that's all it is. It's free. There is a, a paying counterpart about 22 pounds in which this is superimposed Oh, wow, lots of lots of messages for me. Thank you, right? Okay so you can um, um, On the paying version this is superimposed on proper charts uh, This has France south of England uh, some of Italy, some of Tunisia, some of Germany and Belgium, and the rest of the French a uh, um, French colonies. Okay, well, thanks for watching. If you like this, just please comment and subscribe and etc. 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 I'm Tarek Maryface. I'll see you guys later and happy fun.